He is your first spouse. Take him serious. Hello, Shalom. God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. Thank you, Lord, for today. May the name of the Lord be praised. He is merciful. He is lovely. He is a great God. There is none like him. Hallelujah. He is your first spouse. This world keep on dropping again and again for someone today. God is the first person that loves you without giving you condition. He loves you. Even when you know you are a sinner, He loves you. Why are you going away from Him right now? Because of those things that you have not yet received. Because of the person that has offended you. You want to leave your first love. You want to allow the person that you made in the house of your father to take you away from your father. No. He is your first love. You want peace in everything. You have to put him first. You have to set him first before you. You have to take him as your number one. He is the one that makes you to find that happiness you have right now. The life that he has given to you. The good health. The husband, the children that he has given to you. I think the one that is not pushing you away from his love. What can separate you? What can separate us from the love of God? He is your first love. You want to enjoy that peace. You want to enjoy that good life, that good health. You have to always put him first. Why are you tired these days? It's because you have diverted your love. You have diverted your attention. You have diverted your focus. He's a lovely father and he's a jealous God also. You have to know that without him, we are nobody. The earth will create everything, it created everything. The enemy will want to deceive you with what you request for in order to push you away so that he can be able to do that which you want to do in your life. Remember the word of God says, He comment not, but a key to destroy. But God has come to give you that everlasting life. He is your first love. You have run away from the spirit. You have made a mistake. Don't run. Come back to him. Just like the prodigal son. He will always forgive you. He loves you. Don't allow anything to push you away from his presence. The word of God says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You have to dwell there for to abide. I pray may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.